not less than 10 million years old, the Teton mountain range is one of the youngest in North America. This age, along with the flat fields of Jackson Hole, make them an impressive sight. We had spent the day relaxing in Jackson, seeing the sights and stocking up on food, before heading out the north end of the park to find a place to camp. So last night we camped right on the edge of the Grand Teton National Park right here on Pacific Creek that you can see behind me. And the plan for today is to go up into Yellowstone and spend the entire day in Yellowstone. Actually we discussed this last night and we agreed we'd get up nice and early. We said 7 o'clock we'd get up so we could spend the whole day up there. And uh, I got up at exactly 7.25 and uh, still no one else is up. So. It's okay, I'm going to go sit in the car and I've got some video files, I've got to back up some uh, videos off the memory cards. So hopefully everyone else will be up soon and we can go spend the day in Yellowstone. the time zone so oh so you're doing mountain time i mean uh pacific time pacific time yeah ah, i thought that's what it was yeah, yeah I'm, on the, I'm on the dot <laughs> you know what i mean yeah yeah i mean if you're operating on uh pacific time that means you're up earlier than me because i got up at 7 25 oh. you got up at 7 08 that's right yeah well done As we drove north into Yellowstone, the weather was less than ideal, but it cleared up shortly after we parked. The first stop was the famous Old Faithful Geyser. As we sat and waited, it constantly teased us with billows of steam and the occasional sputter of water, and I'd start videoing every single time. When it finally started, I was ready. What I wasn't ready for was the height of the eruption. It kept getting higher and higher, eventually reaching a little under 150 feet. <laughs> two minutes after it began, it gave its last two sputters and went back to steaming. The rest of the morning was spent walking the Upper Geyser Basin, which is full of steaming and bubbling geysers and pools. A lot of the pools have bright yellow and orange coloring from the microbes that thrive in a hot and acidic water. Only the hottest pools are blue, where it's too hot for even the microbes.
By the time we got to the north end of the park, the sun was out and we were able to enjoy the terraces at Mammoth Hot Springs. As the hot water moves underground, it picks up carbon dioxide, forming a weak carbonic acid. This acid dissolves the limestone rock around it. When the water reaches the surface, some of that carbon dioxide escapes, causing the dissolved limestone to be deposited in the terraces. Yellowstone is enormous. If you go, make sure you allow yourself at least two days to explore the park. Unfortunately for us, Andreas had to work the next day, so we went north into the hills of Montana. Oh, we made it to the top of the mountain and the map says there's a lake up here, but I don't see any lake. The trail just kind of stops in this little clearing and it's obviously this is set up for camping. You've got a fire ring right there behind me and plenty of space for probably five or six vehicles up here. I've marked it, but we're not going to be staying up here because uh, one of the requirements we had is that uh, you have to have LTE because Andreas is working tomorrow. He's going to get up early and start work um, so we're gonna head back down to him he's parked about three or four miles down the mountain and he found a spot it's just kind of pulled off on the side of the road it's not very nice but there's there's great views just no space to set up like the shower tent or anything but we'll probably we'll eat dinner up here and then head down and see you in the morning this is where we ended up camping last night and I thought it was going to be a really crappy spot because it is right on the side of the road and I thought we'd have people driving past all night but it turns out this road doesn't actually go anywhere so uh, no one's driven past all night uh, and it's decent views, Andres was up at 5 in the morning working from the front of the Tacoma and looking out over that view Around mid-morning we packed up and headed towards Butte where Andreas could continue working Along the way we made a quick stop We've been looking out for bears the entire time we've been in Wyoming and hadn't seen anything, even in Yellowstone. So we decided we'd cheat. So the last couple of days we've been on pavement and in civilization. We know we did a couple of national parks. Uh, we actually stayed at a KOA last night. That allowed us to get uh, water filled up, do laundry and so on. And uh, we're finally back off pavement in uh, Montana. We are north of Butte, Montana, about 20 miles north. And we're doing the a little bit of kind of Continental Divide route. We're going to be splitting off a couple of times, doing a couple of harder trails, hopefully, or things that are, uh, I have marked as hard, and uh, heading up to Glacier National Park over the next couple of days. Well, cleaning up Let's first. See what you got. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah it's it's filling up. Yeah. I, uh, I yeah, this one didn't come out as good. I wish it was die cut. Yeah. I may have to take that one off, but it's a nice national parks. I like this one. Yeah, Marlene found me that one. That one's cool. Yeah, she went never shopped in there. You know what the best one is, though? I'm trying to put stuff around it, but it just gets taken <laughs> out. Of course, this is the best one.
we had a little shortcut marked out on the map uh, but like it cuts off a lot of travel time but it's obviously a lot less travel itself also it cuts off a lot of distance but it's a lot less traveled and you can see I mean we walked maybe 100 feet up here there's two trees down already so yes it cuts off a lot of distance but it probably adds a lot of time plus there's a couple of obstacles which based on how we did a few days ago on big rocks and the damage that I got I think I'm gonna pass you think you get the trailer off that yeah. you know what after the other day I think I can do anything yeah I think we could do it I don't think I want to yeah I mean we'll spend a, the whole day here probably. yep we'll go the long way I bet it ends up being a lot quicker Obviously, you've got views in every single direction, great views in every single direction. That's why they built the lookout tower here. Behind me, off in the distance, that's Granite Butte. I think we're gonna try and camp up here. There's a little clearing suitable. A clearing here where we may be able to fit. Right now, this one's unmanned. I had talked to someone down at the bottom in the valley said that uh, this place is rented out by the Forest Service so this one's not actually like a manned lookout tower this is one you can just stay in and there's no one here right now although it is extremely cold especially in this wind We have been up here. What are you doing with your arm? <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> We've been up here maybe three minutes and we're already freezing. No, it I'm is... not. You haven't gone out of the car. <laughs> it's fine. It's got a pit toilet. That's not a good thing. <laughs> well, it's not like anyone's probably used it. True. We're going to head down uh, somewhere a little more sheltered to camp. You got anything to say about that? Um, no. We went back down the mountain out of the wind, and after setting up camp, we were treated to the best sunset of the entire trip. <laughs> 